I love to make animations in Scratch. It is so much fun and it's so easy once you get down a couple of main steps. So let's take the classic fairy tale Hansel and Gretel and let's put our own little spin on this fantastic tale. We'll write our own version and in our own version there's only going to be Gretel and the parents are just going to be her mom in this version and her mom actually might be trying to tell her something and create some values in her instead of just trying to get rid of her because they're so poor <laughs> as in the original fairy tale version. Welcome to my modern day play based on the fairy tale Hansel and Gretel. I'm Gretel. My mom sat me down to chat about not doing my homework and chores. Because while she worked, I just played on my phone. One day, my mom decided to test my skills. We headed to camp on your own in the middle of a park to test my survival skills. I had heard rumors that there was a witch deep in the woods here, but who believes in witches anymore? It didn't take me long to see that finding food and shelter was a big deal. I missed my mom and my home and the meals she gave to me even the veggies. I started wandering around and fell asleep as soon as it became night. In the morning, I was lost, cold, and so hungry. I started looking for a house, any house at all, when I saw a house made of candy. I had been warned to never go near strangers but I didn't listen to my mom and soon found myself trapped inside of a witch's kitchen. She magically locked all the doors and said she was going to cook me for dinner. I outsmarted her though by pretending I didn't know how to use wood and fire to cook. Oh, Mrs. Witch, I don't know how to use fire and wood to cook things. Hello, I use a microwave. She started laughing at me with a very familiar laugh. I looked at her and took off her big wig and glasses and it was my mom. She told me how to light the open fire and we made delicious veggie burgers and ate ice cream and then went for a wonderful evening stroll. I loved every minute of spending time with her. We decided that we would go camping together more often and that when we got home, I would do my homework and cheerfully do my chores. Sometimes. The end. I hope you love this version of Hansel and Gretel and write your own. Hello. Okay, so this is part two of how to make an animation with Scratch. So the first thing that I did um, with this, I love to create assignments using fairy tales because you can go a million different directions with them. So for this assignment, um, we are going to follow along with Hansel and Gretel, and that's going to be the overall fairy tale theme. But we are actually going to create an adaptive fairy tale where we are going to tell our story that we brainstormed and the script that we've written, and we're gonna use Scratch to make a character and different backgrounds, and then step our character through our version of Hansel and Gretel. So um, the first thing that I did was um, say, you know, I love the classic fairy tale Hansel and Gretel, and now let's go ahead and write our own version, open Scratch, and then I'm giving the, um, 
project link of my scratch project of this, of my version of Hansel and Gretel right here, and I will make sure that it's in the description as well. So the characters in our modern version include Gretel and her mother. That's it. Only Gretel is shown. The backgrounds include one white background, a, a living room background, which is Gretel's living room, a forest background, a witch's house, and the last scene is a party room. So there are five different backgrounds. Um, I have a challenge in here to go ahead and draw your own version of the witch's house and what you believe Gretel looks like. Um, so I went ahead and did it myself. And then I have a house for the kiddos to color. And then I have Gretel for the kiddos to color. And they can also import these into Scratch if they want to. Or they can use them as, they can just look at them just, just for fun. So what I did was I brainstormed out a script before I started anything and changing around how Gretel would actually move through the story and move through the backgrounds. I decided that I would record her talking and then also record the words on screen. And now I've gone ahead and here's the script. And then I have every single scene and the code that I've used for each scene. So this should be um, a good guide once you read this and once you see how I'm doing every single scene with when clicked, play sound, switch background, play sound, and how I've recorded everything, um, that you should be able to do this with any adaptive fairy tale. So I have five different scenes, one for each background. That's how I decided to break up my animation. Then I wrote everything down, the script that I have um, beforehand, and that, those are all my says. And then I recorded myself um, going ahead and reading my script. And I only read one piece or one line of the script per um, little tiny bit per say. So I didn't feel like I was rushed and I didn't feel like I had to um, read something really big where I was going to like flub the lines or get really overwhelmed by it. So basically all it is, is just a wait and then play the the recorded um, sentence or two sentences and then um, the say and attach the say to it for a couple of seconds and then another wait and then play the sound and that's the exact i heard rumors i heard rumors these are the exact same things so she's saying them out loud and the kiddos hear her hear her talking and then they can also read her words and those are those says so basically the code is a lot of weights and playing sounds and then saying the words which means typing the words on screen and then you go through the different backgrounds and that's how i broke it up she stays, um, it, she stays still. I don't have her walking around and I don't have her conversing with anybody else. I wanted the emphasis to be on the different uh, types of scenes. So this gives you a behind the scene tour of how I created this animation in Scratch. And I am going to download this and I will create a um, PDF. If you would like to have the PDF, you can just go ahead and email me and I will email you the PDF, okay?